All right, so welcome back here, everybody. <clears throat> in the last lesson, we went ahead and did all of our skinning for um, the main portion of the flower, and now we're ready to go ahead and continue where we left off here. And we're going to start making all of our IK systems, um, and, and we're going to do this <clears throat> um, in pieces just so that we can keep organized of exactly what we're going to go ahead and do here. So we're going to start making our IKs with our inside stems here. So let's go ahead and just turn off everything that we're not going to be working on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and move this up so that we can get a better view of what's going on here. So let's go ahead and turn off our outer stems, our petals, and here we go. So <clears throat> we need to make sure that this stem is actually going to move correctly. And to do that, we're gonna not we're not gonna be using a standard IK system. We're gonna be using our spline IK system here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select our tool. And let's go ahead and just draw out our spline IK. You can go ahead and double click this and reset the tool if you want. Um since I just clicked it once, I know that the tool is um reset here, so we'll just go ahead and start from the beginning joint here to the end joint. Okay go ahead and turn off our polygons here and you can see that it go ahead and actually creates this curve here if I can select this okay now normally this comes out with just four vertices um, and you can always draw it out at something like eight or um, even ten vertices if you want to have a real cluster control over your um, model there. To do that all you would just need to go ahead and do is just hit F4 on your keyboard with the curve selected you would just come up to curve rebuild curve and <clears throat> say if you wanted something like five spans you would just simply put four in here or if you wanted eight or um, eight spans you would just have to go ahead and actually put a seven in here so you'll get one extra span so for every number that you put in here so any number that you put in here you're always going to get one extra span so let's just go ahead and close that and let's go ahead and just select our curve here I'm just gonna go ahead and turn off the joints real quick okay just making sure that I select that curve and we want to go ahead and actually add clusters to this now you can go ahead and simply select each vertice come up here create the former cluster and you'll have to do that for each and every single vertice that would be on that curve but I don't want to go ahead and do that I sort of want to um, expedite the process here so I'll just come up here to curves edit curves selection cluster curve and that's gonna go ahead and add all those clusters for me at one time okay so let's go ahead and bring back our polygons here and I'm just gonna hit five on my keyboard here just so I can see what I'm doing and we, now we just need to go ahead and create our um, controllers and I'm just gonna go ahead and use a wizard controller control script that I've uh, downloaded from Creative Crash and I'll go ahead and actually include this with the project file so that you guys can um, go ahead and have this and don't actually have to go ahead and look for it here so with that said let's just go ahead and create our um, our curves that we're going to need here so we'll just go ahead and select that and hit shift P so that there's no group underneath of it so let's just go ahead and place these as we want here now I'm just going to go ahead and move that off. I'm not going to go ahead and create a um, a curve here for the the base cluster, and that's because I'm going to be doing this a little bit differently. So we'll go ahead and make all those constraints after I've um, gone ahead and made all the curves for every single cluster that's going to be inside of the bodies for these IK handles. Um, and I'll do that for all four of them at one time. So let's just go ahead and create our clusters here. I'm going to go ahead and just bring back my outer stems just so that I know where um, or our inner stems just so I can uh, place these properly so let's just go ahead and drag that over here go ahead and pull this down a little bit here okay so I'll just go ahead and hit control D here to duplicate this one just go ahead and delete that one because I'm not going to use it control D to duplicate that again and we'll just go ahead and place that over and I just want to go ahead and scale these down a little bit there okay go ahead and 
bring that up. We probably should have gone ahead and actually renamed those while we do this. That's okay. I can just go ahead here and hit CC um, outer CC stem one inner stem one. Okay. Go ahead and freeze the transformations and center the pivot on that. And now that I named this the inner stem one, I want to go ahead and actually um, use that same naming convention here for the other two. Okay, so we'll just call this the CC inner stem two and CC inner stem three. Okay, so we'll go ahead and select all of these, freeze the transformations and center the pivots here. And if I go ahead and bring my outliner over, you can see that we have them named here. Okay, this curve is the spline IK curve. So we'll just go ahead and just move this over here. So now I want to go ahead and duplicate all of these to the other side because we're going to be using these for the um, the opposite inner stem here. Okay, so let's just go ahead and select these. We'll hit Control D to duplicate them all. And then using our wizard controllers, we'll just go in the mirror direction and we'll just mirror it in the X direction. And that didn't work. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and select one, mirror it, select the other one, mirror it select the third one here go ahead and mirror that so now they're all going to be pretty much in the same placement there and they may be off a little bit so we can just go ahead and adjust them as we want if we look in our front view and I just want to make sure that they're all going to line up properly okay and probably have to move them over just a little bit more okay Go ahead and freeze the transformations on those. And just making sure that they line up properly. And that's a big part of rigging is just making sure that you have everything that's going to, you know, line up properly. So let's just go ahead and color these here. And I'll also go ahead and include this with the uh, scripts as well. So it's just going to make it easier for you to go ahead and color that. So we'll go ahead and color this side red. Okay, and now we just need to go ahead and make our connections here. Okay, so we'll select one of these, go ahead and select the cluster, hit F2 so we can get to our constraint menu, use our parent constraint, and we're going to make sure that we maintain the offset there. So now you can see where you can control that. Do the same thing here for what is going to be the top cluster. Do the same thing here for the bottom cluster. Okay, Let's go ahead and turn back on our polygons and you can see where the movement here is um, really nice and fluid. Okay, so now we want to go ahead and do the other side here. So let's go ahead and grab our spline IK handle tool here doing the same thing just select the bottom select the top there comes in our spline IK and I also want to go ahead and create a new layer for our clusters just so that we can um, keep organized here so in our outliner I'm just going to select these four original clusters go ahead and create a new layer with those selected we'll just call this the uh, cluster main layer and we can go ahead and hide these later, but for right now I'm just doing this um, just so I can keep organized and um, watch what I'm doing here just so I know exactly what I'm doing. So let's go ahead and turn off our polygons here. We'll go ahead and select our curve. Just repeating the same process. Hit F4 on your keyboard. Edit curves. Selection. Cluster curve. So now all those clusters come in. Okay. Go ahead and turn off our joints here. Go ahead and select our bottom curve here. Select our first cluster. Hit F2 just to make sure we're in our animation menu set. Constraint, parent. Select the second one. Constraint, parent. Select the third one. Constraint. Oh, need to make sure that I select that cluster and not the curve there. OK. 
constraint parent so now we can go ahead and select those and add those to that cluster main layer here okay we can also if we want to add the curves to that um, to a new layer as well so we'll call this the spline IK curves go ahead and add those just so we can only see our IK handles so we'll go ahead and bring back our joints go ahead and bring back our polygons and let's go ahead here and check to make sure that all these are moving properly and this looks good and it looks like a um, very hypnotic snake and, that, and that's basically how we want the um, the foliage on the plant to move and that looks good okay so let's just check the right side here this all looks good okay and you also notice like I said I didn't I didn't go ahead and actually make a, um, a parent here for the base and I'm not going to do this right away I'm going to do this once I go ahead and um, get all these stems actually clustered out and rigged so in the next lesson we'll go ahead and come back and start working on what are going to be the outer stems here and we're basically going to be using the same process for those outer stems <coughs> and I'm going to also going to save each um, project file so you guys can see exactly how I'm going to put this rig together so in the next lesson go ahead and come back and we will go ahead and continue our work